After spending three days in France, we were off to our next destination, Amsterdam, Netherlands. We took the train from Paris Nord Station to Amsterdam Central at 8.25 a.m. The travel time is approximately three and a half hours. We arrived at the Amsterdam Central Station at exactly 11.42 in the morning. We then purchased this four-day Amsterdam and region travel ticket at the GVB Ticket Visitor Center, then proceeded directly to Zandam to check in to our accommodation. After a quick rest, we went back to the central station and had lunch at Pancakes Amsterdam. We ordered this delicious Dutch pancake with camembert, chicory ham, and raspberry sauce. Dam Square is the ideal first stop for tourists in Amsterdam, not only because it's just a 5-minute walk down the dam rack from Central Station, but it also features different local attractions such as the National Monument, the Royal Palace, the 15th century New Church, and other big shopping centers. We then visited Amsterdam's famous floating flower market. Spent a good 30 minutes or so in the area to look for the perfect souvenir for this leg of the trip that we can bring home. While walking around the city, we decided to try some snacks along the way. Here's Riley devouring a cup of this yummy chocolate sundae from Hema, whilst I enjoy eating Dutch fries at Mannequin Paws. Unfortunately, we enjoyed strolling around the city too much. We weren't able to take videos of other places we visited such as the Red Light District and Chinatown. Ended our tour of the city for the day admiring the beauty of these crooked historic houses alongside the Damrak Canal, also known as the iconic dancing houses of the Damrak. We woke up early the next day, had a quick breakfast at Hema, then took bus 391 that brought us to this picturesque Dutch village, Zanses Chance. Mm -hmm. 
It is best known for its collection of well-preserved historic windmills, authentic houses, and a cheese and dairy factory. The windmills were used to grind spices, produce paint, saw wood, and make oil. A number of these windmills still exist and can still be visited today to see how these wind-powered machines work inside and out. We also checked out this shoe workshop where we got to see firsthand how they make wooden clogs. Here are some photos of us trying their oversized clogs that can be found outside of the workshop. Of course, a trip to the village is not complete without visiting the cheese and dairy factory where we got to try different types of cheeses and of course, brought home some too. After spending half a day in Zanse Chans, we went back to the city to go on a cruise on Amsterdam's canals. We booked our canal cruise experience on the Lover's Canal Cruise website for only 13 euros per person. An audio guide available in 19 languages is provided in the boat if you are interested to know more about the city's history. The tour started from the central station and lasted for an hour. We sailed through Amsterdam's 17th century canal ring and enjoyed the city's sights from the water. Each cruise takes a different path through the city, depending on the amount of traffic on the canals and the size of the boat.
After the cruise, we decided to stroll around the city to see the Amsterdam canals by foot. In 2010, Amsterdam's 17th century canal ring was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ended our second day in Amsterdam with a quick dinner in Chinatown and a bite of this freshly made Dutch waffle we bought at a nearby cafe near the canals that is also famous for their space cakes, muffins, and brownies. We started day 3 with a visit to the museum square where we saw the Rijksmuseum, the Moko Museum, and the Van Gogh Museum. We also had the chance to snap a photo at the iconic I Amsterdam sign that was previously located right outside the Rijksmuseum. Unfortunately, it has already been removed by the council to lessen the number of tourists in the square. We didn't get to enter Anne Frank's house but saw it from the outside as we were pressed for time before heading to the Albert Kuyp Market. The Albert Kuyp Market is the largest and most popular outdoor market in the Netherlands. We tried the popular raw herring, a small fish that is very popular among Dutch people. So, I did. We then had perhaps the best known Dutch sweet and a must eat in Amsterdam, the Stroop waffles that is consists of two thin waffle-like wafers with a sticky, sweet stroop spread in the middle. Yes, I must. Mm. After the waffles, we went straight to buy these Dutch mini pancakes, commonly known in Amsterdam as poffertjes. These are small, fluffy, yeasted treats made in a special cast iron pan that are traditionally served hot with a pat of butter and a good sprinkling of confectioner's sugar. Here. Here. And that sums up the end of our two-week Euro trip. We spent our last day at the airport where we enjoyed watching some entertainment from the locals, went on a long flight journey home where we had a stop over at Dubai before getting on a flight to Sydney. Enjoy these in-flight meals provided and just leapt through the flight with a grateful heart. If you would like to follow our road trip adventures in Australia and travels around the world, then please subscribe to our channel so you get notified when a new video is up. Thanks for watching!